Hello, collective. Welcome back to the platform. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, taken from you, trying to steal from you, it is returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Again, as I have said, so shall it be. All bondages placed in your life, in your path, by your enemies are removed. All chains placed in your life, in your path, by your enemies are broken. All spell work, negative energies, and intent being sent towards you by your enemies are dismantled, past, present, future, permanently. As I have said, uh, so shall it be. Okay. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and do our oracle read with our tea leaf reading. Okay, let's see what the message is. It says you have a lot to offer to the world. So if you are someone who maybe you're going through some type of a uh, rough patch right now and you're not feeling like you're worthy or you don't have much to offer or maybe people um people make you feel like you don't have much to offer or what you do don't matter that it's an absolute lie people only do things like that when you absolutely are the bomb.com okay if you are not the bomb.com people will not be going out of their way to make you feel a certain type of way okay let's go ahead and get into our terror reading so we have a queen, king of source out here listen this king of source came out yesterday i don't know if this is the same one or someone else because i've been getting uh, energy read on two different king of swords but there is one in here taking some type of action and whatever action he has chosen to go for uh is going to cause some type of tower or is causing a tower in a community of people going through a lot of emotions right they feel betrayed or something like that or it's going to surprise them they're not expecting this this is a situation from what i'm getting that a lot of people have gotten together to antagonize one person and there could be someone in this group that uh is telling people hey do not help her do not help him like people are taking vows or people are being made to take vows behind the scenes not to help a specific energy this masculine here from what i'm getting he's been wanting to come and assist someone for a long time but there have been blockages being placed in his way like people have been playing mental games with him manipulating him and things like that so this masculine is choosing to move forward i'm telling you he's taking back his power um he's taking charge and moving forward to do something and it's going to shake up this community this friend group they may have done something where they were celebrating they thought they have had they had, they have had had excuse me some type of victory over a light worker a star seed someone like that either an empress energy an emperor a higher fan a, a higher priestess something like that they thought they had had some type of success but this man taking his power back yes this is an emperor stepping into his power into his uh uh what is it yeah, he's basically taking charge of his life. Him taking charge of his life is leading to some type of ending for this community because he's going to be having a brand new passionate beginning with you all somewhere else. They were trying to keep this man trapped. This is an emperor standing in his king of swords energy. He knows exactly where you are, which is why he's coming towards you. Okay. So he has foresight of this situation and he's choosing to bring balance into it. Now this king, of, this seven of swords may be here, but I'm not getting a malicious feel. This is someone sneaking away or taking some type of action to get out of his head about a star seed, right? Um, he wants to have wish fulfillment, which is why he's getting out of his head to take action and bring balance into his, into this situation. Someone may see you as wish fulfillment and whatever action they're taking is going to lead to some type of victory for him. Um, someone may want to work with you, collaborate with you. Someone may admire your work as well. Um, yeah. And whatever he's planning to do is causing burdens 
for people behind the scenes, right? This whole community, yeah. The whole community is burdened because this man coming towards you is going to be giving you some type of Ace of Pentacles offer. This is something that the Most High has touched someone to do. So him coming towards you is absolutely causing some type of burden for these people. They're losing sleep at night, okay? Someone may be uh, hesitant. I think there's something in this man's mind where he thinks that if he comes towards you, you're going to reject him. So this is someone that fears rejection is what I'm hearing. Um, but him coming towards you is absolutely going to be causing chaos because uh, for these people in this community. Because what? They've been telling some type of lie. These people collaborated to lie on someone, deceive this masculine about someone's character. And now that the truth is out... And he's taking actions to bring balance into a situation to correct some type of wrong that was done. Yeah, absolutely. Bring some type of balance into a situation. Make you an offer. Someone may want to be with you or work with you. It's causing a lot of uh, chaos behind the scenes. But either way, he's moving on because he has clarity about you, the situation, who was doing what. Someone may also have clarity that he has some type of divine contract with you. There could have been some type of revelation that took place between him and his ancestors or someone spoke to him um, from a higher point of view and explained something to him or opened his eyes in a certain way, right? Um, and because of that realization, he's taking action to answer the call. Basically, this person is like a phoenix rising from the ashes in the sense that this masculine is going through some type of awakening. This is someone... Maybe he has been living a certain type of way. Someone is extremely mental, but this person is going through some type of awakening and may have some type of passion for you as well. Um, and so this is why he's coming towards you. Someone wants to build with you. Someone wants to have an abundant life with you. Someone may ask you to marry them. Uh, someone may see you as a wish come through, a wish fulfillment. Um, and this is something that's bothering these people because they've gone through the ringer to tarnish your image with this person. And everything they've done has just gone in, has just been in vain because they didn't gain anything out of it right? This masculine is still going to be partnering up with you. So whatever it is they've been doing is really just been a waste of time. He's standing his ground and absolutely defending himself, possibly this connection, this collaboration, whatever it is. And he knows that his ancestors, the universe, they're supporting his action as well. Maybe defending a queen of cups behind the scene. You could be a queen of cups or this is one of your energies that you're typically in. This action that he's taking absolutely has these people in some type of energy, okay? Uh, you could have a knight, of a knight of Wands in here as well that wants to approach you, but he's trapped mentally. Someone is in their mind all the time. Someone is always in their mind, so his mental is not as stable as it's supposed to be, and maybe he feels restricted as well in some type of environment he's in, and he's going to have to change something about what he's doing or how he's viewing things in order to move around. So there could be a knight of wands that wants to make you an offer as well, but there's something about his mental, his stability, and I don't mean financially, I mean as well as much as, mm, 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 mm. excuse me, I mean so much more as his emotional state of being, his mental state of being, someone is not balanced in those departments, right? But he has a lot of passion for you. And I don't know if this is mature passion. I think this is just someone that sees you as very beautiful or maybe handsome. Uh, and they want to have some type of romantic interaction with you. But it's not something that's going to be solid. This kink of source, however, wants to communicate with you because this person does see you as a wish fulfillment and again the freaking four of wands is coming out so he definitely wants to build with you does want to possibly marry you just develop or establish some type of firm foundation with you and he sees you as a queen of cups so you are someone very uh nurturing he sees you as someone very kind and that's something he's looking for your personality as far as the queen of cups is going to help balance this person out because this is someone that's more so on the mental side and you bring some type of aspect out of this man that no one else has ever been able to so he holds you in a very high regard oh my goodness and he sees you as very strong okay this man dreams a lot about you or like has a lot of fantasies or something like that about you um but so you may want to be uh, mindful of that because uh, there's something, I don't know what it is. 
and I don't want to second guess myself, but I feel like there's someone else coming towards you. This man is coming towards you and there's someone else coming towards you as well. And it could be a king of cups that wants to come towards you, but he's being kept out of your energy because this is someone that caused a lot of illusions about you, told a lot of lies and things like that. And all of these lies are out. So he may want to come in and gaslight you, try to make it seem like it's a solid offer. It's not a solid offer. It's nothing. Uh, it's not a solid offer. It's nothing but an illusion that he's coming in with. So I would throw with caution if the, the the king of cups if he's someone from your past you most definitely need to consider uh walking away think about it like don't accept i wouldn't accept any offer from my ex from your past because this is someone coming in with an ulterior motive this is someone that does not want to see you with someone else right? Because he knows you're going to be very abundant in life. You're someone very fruitful. So he may be thinking on how he can come in and play with your emotions, develop or establish some type of new connection with you, a second chance basically, so that he can have some type of attachment with you or to you and then still have some other activities going on behind the scenes if you're a woman. And if it's a man, flip the roles. It's the same thing. So I wouldn't uh, entertain your ex or someone from your past you just did not have any good rapport with because they had some type of ulterior motive. You will be see, receiving some type of communication about your abundance, your inheritance, some type of promotion you may be receiving. And this is something someone has taken a long time to actually decide to give to you. They've been thinking about this for a long time or they've been wanting to give it to you and people have been interfering. And this is like a man or a woman being interested in working with you and maybe they spoke to their families and friends about their interests in working with you or being with you and the friends and family family members got into cahoots to talk him out of it slander you lie on you something like that and every time he tried to take action to give you this offer they would put him in his mental right they'll tell him oh you shouldn't do this don't give that to her she you know she's not worth it of it she's not you know productive she's lazy as heck she doesn't want to work she doesn't know what she's doing if you're a woman and if you're a man reverse the roles she doesn't know how to do this, doesn't know how to do that. You know, you'll be wasting your money, wasting your time, all kinds of stuff just to prevent this man from taking action. They always wanted him in his uh, uh, his head, okay? The king of swords are already people that are in their head a lot because they're extremely intellectual. They see things from a different, pers a lot of different perspectives, and they always see things from a higher point of view, right? So if you have that kind of person that's always in their mind already, thinking about everything and then you're manipulating them, that kind of makes it really hard for them to see things straight, even though they're intellectual, right? If you have people that are really good at manipulating, he may not see it, or some of them, they'll see it and they'll just kind of sit back and study people from a distance. And I think this is what this man has been doing for a while is just sitting back and watching these people take action. And they didn't know that he knew the whole time what they were doing. So this could be why he's been watching you as well and wanting to communicate with you. But every time he has tried to do something as far as getting in contact with you or coming near you, they've done something to cause some type of interference. Okay. So you may want to be careful. Again, there is someone that wants to come in and cause some type of emotional imbalance with you, but you most definitely need to know this tower that's taking place as well is illuminating the truth. Like there, there is truth and clarity in this situation where there was darkness and secrets and ulterior motives being hidden before there's absolute clarity. Now there's some type of tower that took place that led to some type of secrets and truth being revealed to a whole community of people about a friend group and things like that, what they've been doing behind the scenes in regards to a lot of you, what they've been doing to block your forward movement, the lies they've been telling and things like that. There could be a feminine energy in here that has been telling a lot of lies on someone. Uh, someone was pretending to be, I don't know, like a, a, a someone in the upright. So they may have done some type of uh, magic or they go to like a dark priestess or they do magic themselves self-practice spirituality themselves dark spirituality and they've been softening someone's energy to present themselves in the likeness of that person but there's something where they don't have access to your energy anymore so that facade that they had on has kind of worn off and they're having a hard time keeping up that facade of being you so it's like what the heck are you doing 
Okay, what are you doing? Like people see right through them. They said, why did you, yeah, it's a queen of wands. It said, why did you go through all this trouble of lying and pretending? Because now someone is sitting down and playing back in their mind. This man, this man here, this gentleman, the king of swords is more than likely sitting back and playing over in his mind. Everything this person has done for however long she was doing it when she was pretending to be in the upright. Okay. So now that the truth is out, he's keeping his distance from her. He does not want to be uh, 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 around this woman because there's just something here that's not adding up for him. Uh, you could have a community that was working with a freaking uh, 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 king, of, king of wands, excuse me. Could be a Sagittarius or whatever. I don't know. It could be a Leo with the King of Wands being out here. Uh, but the, there's clarity out here that this person may want to work with you or they know the truth about you. Someone has gone through some type of healing. I wouldn't be surprised if this is your emperor showing up in all of his different energies, starting off as the King of Swords and then the King of Wands. He is adapting the right energy per the situation is what I'm thinking. I feel like there's also a king of wands in here that's going through some type of awakening as well or is having to accept things for what they are. You all, I'm getting also that there's a king of swords in here that wants to take some type of action as well to cause some type of ending towards a feminine energy because he does not want to see you with someone else. Okay, someone is very burdened about you receiving a gift an offer from someone else because he wanted to be the one to give you that offer, but he effed up really bad behind the scenes. Like someone off, someone fucked up really bad. Excuse my French, but he don't fuck up. Okay. He messed up really bad. I don't curse a lot, but someone from what I'm seeing, like he's cursing a lot in the back of, in the back behind the scenes in his head throwing a lot of temper tantrums behind the scenes. People may not be seeing him. Like he's doing something to like, express his anger he's very angry about something and he's very burdened has a lot of anxiety because he knows that he screwed himself over really bad because he did something to someone he was not supposed to do or he should not have done but because he didn't have clarity about the situation he went buck wild like just went crazy doing all kinds of malicious things this is like someone come and tell you something about someone and you know it's not true or there there's a fair chance that it may not be true what they're telling you about this person and instead of you looking into it, you just start taking action to destroy someone's life, someone's future, right? Now that the truth is out, right, it's causing some type of rude awakening for a king of swords in here. And he's having a hard time getting back to his old life. He may have lost a lot of finances as well. There's something where it says someone had a lot of money or a lot of money was given to him to do something. And he just kind of went crazy, buck wild crazy out here doing all kinds of malicious things. Okay. So now that the truth is out that a king of wands wants to work with you, wants to commit with you, uh, it's causing a tower in here because these people thought they had it set up where they had discouraged everyone and anyone from working with you or helping you. There are literally people taking oaths behind the scenes of a lot of you that they are not going to assist you no matter how pitiful of a situation you are in. It doesn't matter if they see you walking in the rain. It does not matter if you're sick, you're crippled. They told them to take a vow and promise that they will not assist you. So a lot of these people have been sitting back watching a lot of you go through these tumultuous times Things that they themselves would not make it through if they were put through the same situations and experiences. But they are out here telling people to take vows and promise to not assist you, uh, to bully some of you, lie on a lot of you. These are people they were having fun behind the scenes, causing mayhem in other people's lives. And now they're going through some type of tower because something is being looked into. There could be some type of investigation going on behind the scenes. It could be like an internal investigation. I'm telling you, there's something legal going on. It could be something internal that's going on and you may be receiving communications about this, but absolutely the truth is out. I can't imagine why someone would tell a group of people that they should take an oath to not assist someone while they are purposely causing mayhem in that person's life. It's one thing for karma to happen to a person naturally, but you try to force it to look like karma. That is not karma. That is you acquiring karma for yourself. So someone 
may have taken some type of action behind the scenes, told a lot of lies, told people that you are down and out, impoverished, uh, uh, barely uh, making it, or maybe some of you were homeless and things like that. They didn't want people to feel like karma was upright for you, like you had good karma going on in your life. They wanted people to think that you were going through some type of bad karma in life and you couldn't make it through, right? Like you were going through losses and things like that, but it's not true. So because they didn't want people to know the truth about your situation, that the universe was actually working with you and you were doing okay, they went out of their way doing malicious things behind the scenes to interfere with your stability. So then when people see you, they can say, oh, he was right. She was right. This person really is receiving karma for what they did. Meanwhile, you didn't do a goddamn thing to anybody. Someone is just a liar. Someone is just a liar. Someone is just a pitiful liar, very insecure. Someone may be intimidated by you, your likeness, right? You may be someone that people naturally are drawn to. They just like your energy. You're very healing. And someone found that to be very intimidating and things like that. So they went out of their way to lie. They may have said you did things to them, said things about them when you didn't do none of those things. They may have even lied to some of you soul twins and told them that you betrayed them. But now they're finding out you didn't betray this person. So it's a lot of people in here that are worried going back and forth, but they all still have time to watch you. Now they're basically watching to see how this situation is going to play out is this man going to reach out to you is this man going to uh, uh go through some type of rebirth come in and give you an offer what can they do to block him from coming towards you because that's what they've been doing every time he takes action to come towards you they tell him a new lie they tell him some new story something like that they told him maybe you're sick you're dying you're something honey they're telling anything and everything to cause an ending in this situation but that's exactly what this masculine is doing He's causing an ending and sneaking away from these people, basically. He's getting away from these people, and they're fighting. While he's getting away, they're fighting, and he's looking at them like, uh, I don't know what the heck this is, but okay, okay? Like, he, the cars came back out. This man is going through a rebirth. So whatever the plans they had, whether it was to steal your finances, steal a relationship, steal a new beginning... It's all a fail. They're not going to get away with this. So I don't know why they think they will. Everything is out in the cold, how these people out in the open, how these people were planning to destroy you and this masculine before you two could even have your victory. Okay. They've been trying to hold this person hostage, but he's freeing himself from this freaking queen of wands. Okay. There's a queen of wands in here that keeps showing up repeatedly because this is the one that's been causing a lot of mayhem, lie, deceit right? Mental confusion, mental conflict. This is someone that does a lot of mental conflict, okay? But balance is being brought into this situation, uh, and it's everything that's playing out now is happening in divine timing. This is how it was always meant to happen, and someone didn't see this coming. Someone thought they would keep carrying on this narrative for as long as possible, possibly for the rest of their life. They thought they were going to destroy you from behind the scenes and no one would ever find out what they were doing or, they, or that they were the one behind you and your life falling apart or something like that. Some of you, these people went all the way out. Some of you, you don't even know half of what these people were doing behind the scenes. Forging documents, creating fruit profiles. Some of these people are creating multiple profiles to be able to stalk some of you online because they're watching you to see has he come towards her yet has she come towards him yet some of these people try to steal your finances log into bank accounts all kinds of stuff just all kinds of stuff someone may have even uh, uh misled someone and stole some money from them pretending to be you the whole time you don't have anything to do with it so you may have had like a divine masculine that took some type of action against his soulmate and he didn't know that she was not involved in anything these people said that she was involved in so these people have gone through an extensive length to make something look like what it is not. And now they have to be practical. Your partner, whoever you are supposed to be getting with, is being practical about this situation and is coming in to give you this offer. And this is a genuine offer you're going to be receiving. However, just know that there are people behind the scenes trying to block him. They want this to be a fail. So they're still going to keep trying to manipulate him and tell him you are nothing but a plague. Everything you touch turns to dust but that's not true everything you touch turns to gold you are a healer 
Okay. And he knows that now. So this is why he's taking charge of his life and moving forward. I tell you, you are a healer. Okay. You are absolutely a healer. You uh, uh, personify all of the queens in the deck, in the upright, in the right way. And these people that have been coming against you, I'm hearing a group of women gathered together as well and got other people involved and they were acting from behind the scenes and they thought they were going to keep this narrative going, but everything is going upside down in their lives. They may have had some type of short-lived victory that they um, are kind of, kind of regretting right now. There could be a whole family going through an ending or there could be a whole community that's trapped in something because they partook in some type of madness, okay? They partook in some type of madness. Someone, uh, I don't know if this is a couple, they're no longer able to bribe people. They're no longer able to, you know, flash their money to people anymore to get them to do something like they used to, right? So this is a couple that was possibly uh, bribing people behind the scenes to cause mayhem in other people's lives, especially you, Collective. They're like, hey, I'll pay you $400. I'll pay you $200. I'll pay you $150 if you go and do this. I'll pay you $5,000 if you go and do this. They may not be able to do that anymore. There's some type of imbalance going on in these people's lives. This couple, this family, okay, whoever this couple is, there's some type of imbalance going on. Their finances may be out of whack. They may not have the money to give anymore. So they're being stingy now. I don't know what the heck they thought was going to happen. They thought that they were going to pay enough people. I don't know if these people thought they were going to pay the whole world to, to turn against you. And the universe allowed them to carry out this action. They say, you know what? We're going to let you keep paying people for a while until you run out of money, have to file for bankruptcy. Then you'll know that we're not supporting you. You are not in the upright. And they knew the whole time too, they were in, not in the upright, but they had a lie that they told and they had some type of motive for why they were coming after you. And they didn't want people to find the truth out. So they took it to the far extent. They took something too far. Something started off really petty and then it got a little bit serious and then it got way too serious. When you start bribing people behind the scenes, right? When you start bribing people behind the scenes to do something malicious to someone else, you know, you are out of pocket. You know, you need some mental help. Okay. So this couple here, whoever they are, this could be a couple, a family. They are absolutely going through some type of ending. They are under judgment, okay? They are under some type of divine judgment. And this is not something that is going to be like a few days, a couple of years. This is a long time judgment, okay? They're going to have to build their lives from the bottom up because this is something that they did to a lot of you. who, Whoever you all are, Collective Soul Tribe, some of these people, their churches, their family members, their school, workmates, couples, you, you know, couples, you don't know, just all kinds of people coming from different walks of life to destroy you. Some of you is the people you live with in your communities and things like that. Just going out of their way to be malicious. You have someone that wanted to prove that they were a more powerful high priestess than you, all kinds of stuff. And they're all going through endings. You could have some that are even behind the scenes now, afraid to even talk to you, to even see you face to face. They are so afraid of the karma. They are too afraid to interact with you. Some of them want to apologize to you because the truth is out now. And some of them, they're just having to move on. They're going to have to move on and heal. This couple is going to have to do that. It's a whole community of people just under judgment because of the actions they took to manipulate a situation about you. I'm telling you. Yeah, they manipulated a whole community of people about you and now they have to let go. They may have told people that you were a dark priestess, but people are finding out that that's not true. You're not a dark priestess. You're in the upright, very abundant. And here's your character. You're solid as a rock. Okay, so someone lied. This is giving me that. This is giving me like someone is into like dark magic and they pretend to be religious during the daytime. <laughs> A daytime Christian, a nighttime karmic. <laughs> but really, they are a karmic 24-7. Someone pretends to be religious, but behind the scenes, they are dark, dark. 
Okay. But they wanted people to believe that you were the one who was dark. You were uh, personifying them. You were uh, copying their personalities and things like that. You were stealing from them, whether it's energy, whether it's work, intellectual property, personality, all kinds of stuff. They told people you were copying them. But now that the truth is out, people know what this person has been doing, that you are in the upright. They are distancing themselves from this woman. Okay. They are distancing themselves from this woman, this man, whatever this is, this couple, someone is choosing to move on with their life as well. I don't know if someone was in a relationship with this queen of wands that keeps hiding. Um, whoever she is, someone is getting as far away from her as possible, whether they were best friends, ex lovers or lovers still, he's choosing to move on with his life. What? Yeah. He's moving on. I just saw the fool. He's leaving someone behind. He's tired. The truth is out. Yeah. He's leaving her out in the cold and she is going to be struggling financially. Someone is headed straight to poverty, straight to poverty. And she knows it. Oh my gosh. And she knows it. She's headed to poverty. She's living with anxiety, maybe ill as well. Go ahead. Some type of illness. She's burdened about an emperor coming towards you, right? Coming towards you to make you an offer. And he's stern about it because he knows that you're going to be abundant together, the both of you. And he knows it, honey. Someone is listening to their intuition looking at things from a higher perspective. He's looking deeper into something and he's paying attention to the messages his ancestors are giving him. All of these people are under judgment. This man sees you as wish fulfillment and wants to spoil you. Okay. Someone is coming into your life to spoil you. And this is what this woman was freaking trying to put an end to. But this man coming into your life is leading to an ending of a toxic cycle. A toxic cycle. And there goes that narcissist thinking she, he is going to defeat you. They're already defeated. This entire group is defeated with this King of Cups that was working against you as well. Okay. And that King of Cups could be someone from your past. It's crazy. They're still trying to figure out how to come towards you to cause you an ending. These are people and how to hold on to you, keep you stuck, block you, right? Defeat you and things like that. These are people that have been, I don't know, like, I guess something about some illegal activities going on. So people may have like court cases coming up. There's going to be some type of big court case going on in the future, or it's possibly going on now. And someone that was out here hiring and bribing a lot of people to take action against a star C, all of those people are going to be turning up against you. Okay. And it's going, and you're going to be under some type of illusion thinking you have everything together and you have victory just to find out that you are out. Okay. It's not going in your favor. So someone has not only wasted their time, they've wasted their money, their resources. They, they have dismantled their stability to take someone down that did nothing to them. And now all they can do is watch you sail into the sunset while they're stuck in Carmichville, right? Being looked into, right? And they're going to have to sit and watch you receive some type of new opportunity, keeping you in your Empress energy. I'm telling you. Okay. So whatever it is they've been doing out here, honey, all the illusions, the manipulations, the mind games, all the secrets, the rituals and things like that. It didn't lead to nothing but wish fulfillment for you, darling. Led to nothing but wish fulfillment. Okay. And they know it. They know they hung themselves out to dry. They know they hung themselves out to dry. I keep being told it's a king of source still trying to take action to cause some type of stagnation. I'm telling you, people are not working with this couple, this family anymore because they have foresight. They're not accepting briberies anymore. Nothing. Someone knows, I don't know, if, I don't know if people told a masculine that you were like a gold digger or something, or that you just, your, your money focus, all you care about is money. Someone may be finding out that that's not true. There, uh, there's also something where it's like every time a masculine wants to assist you, someone tells him not to. So he changes his mind. 
because someone's mental may not be as stable as it needs to be, but he's going through some type of healing. When someone comes towards you, they're not going to be fully healed, but they are putting in, putting in the effort to heal. But there is something where it's like a lot of mental games going on. Every time a, a masculine takes action to bring balance into a situation, right? He wants to meet with you. when he, If he tells them he wants to meet with you, right? He knows you on a spiritual level, on a soul level. This is someone you have a past life connection with. This could be your soulmate. With this uh, uh, temperance card out here, followed by the two of cups, this is absolutely your soulmate that wants to come towards you. But every time he tries to, they manipulate him and put him in, put him back in his head. Okay. Some of you may be, you have a purpose to heal someone from anxiety because someone may deal with a lot of anxiety. They're in their mind a lot. This is going to be a very abundant relationship. You got the ace of pentacles and the two of cups. This is going to be a relationship of everything, love, finances, business, stability, friendship, everything you can think of. And it's going to be very successful and fulfilling, absolutely abundant. Okay. And this is what people have been worried about trying to block and things like that. Okay. Some of may have wanted to come in and breadcrumb you initially, but now he's choosing not to breadcrumb you. So he's going to come in full heartedly. He's going to come in genuinely, right? Honestly, right? There she goes. I knew she was going to come out. This queen of wands here. The truth is revealed about her. I'm telling you, the tr I knew she was going to come out because I kept seeing her. Every time I shuffle, she's at the bottom. She goes back in, comes back out. I said, she's going to come out when she's ready to. Here she is. She has arrived. The truth is revealed about this woman. Okay, you yourself, you are an empress, so you uh, uh, personify all of these energies of the the high. The uh, you could be a high priestess. That's always coming out. You're a high priestess, queen of cups, queen of swords, queen of wands, queen of pentacles. Right? There is some type of revelation taking place about you. People know that you are in the upright. You are honest. You're straightforward. You are the truth. Right. You are the actual high priestess in the upright is what I'm being told. But someone has been pretending to be the gifted one. Someone has been pretending to be the genuine one. And she told some type of lie that's now out in the open and everybody know. And people may be feeling sick about certain actions they took against you. Correct. And someone may be in some type of isolation in her mind. It's like the nightmare someone was trying to create for you is what they are going through now. Because people see them for the malicious character that they are. So if they wanted you living in H-E double hockey stick on earth, that's what she's about to be in. Because people don't want to be in a connection with this person. Okay, so she could be in isolation. She's trapped in her mind. She's in some type of self-imposed mental imprisonment. But the truth is revealed about her. Okay? So it's not a secret anymore. People are going within and seeing things from a higher perspective. And they're seeing all of the illusions this woman was causing all this time. Okay? So some of them may want to reach out. Yeah, they want to bring balance. Some of them may want to reach out. This woman may have some type of legalities coming in towards her very quick. Like a court case. Some of them may have stolen something. And she thought she got away with it. No, no. Okay. Not a chance. You didn't get away with it. Okay. In divine timing, you will be having some type of commitment. Yeah. This institution, the court, whatever, they are standing their ground and fixing something. They may be protecting you collective. If something belongs to you, like your work, your source of income, something, it's being protected. She cannot have it. So someone tried to steal something from you legally, like something belongs to you and someone tried to steal it and the courts, they're not allowing that to happen. They're protecting it. Think of it as like your ancestors acting on your behalf through the court system or through a, 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 a human, human being. Your, whatever is yours is being protected. So someone has some legal issues coming in behind the scenes or in the future, whatever this is, it's not going to go in their favor. Whoever was trying to steal from you, some, someone, someone did nothing but bring trouble in their own life. Someone did nothing but bring trouble in their own life. 
And they did this because of hatred, jealousy, envy, wanting to be someone else. This is why it's important to love yourself. This is why it's important to validate yourself. So you don't feel the need to go to this extent, right? To pretend to be someone else. You got to be practical about your life. Look at that. Double on the practicality. You got to be practical. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles came out together. So absolutely two people will be coming together. They are a match. Business savvy, family focused, very practical, lots of common sense, spiritually gifted. Both of them have the same intentions and goals in life. They are on the same page, easy to communicate with between each other, right? And whatever is meant to come in, is coming in pretty quickly. It's like the universe is saying enough with this stagnation. We don't got time for this anymore. Okay. They don't got time for this anymore. Yeah, the universe is speeding things up. They're done with the waiting. They said, now, now, it's done. The waiting, the wait is over, okay? So whatever is yours, collective, is absolutely protected. Just know that people are seeing you for exactly who you are. And whatever plan someone had to come in and destroy you, it's a fib, it's a flob, it's not happening. You are protected. All of their plans are being dismantled. Every plan is being dismantled because the universe is watching them and hanging them out dry, leaving them out dry. Okay? The universe said we're going to keep exposing the truth until every last lie is exposed. No stone will be left unturned. Okay? They said we are here. So... Oh, and they are, they are serious. They mean business. They are coming after a toxic group. Okay. This toxic co uh, community couple, whatever this is, the universe wants you to know they're here. The ancestors. Oh yeah. They want you all to know we're here. Oh, they're here. So whatever you all have been doing, it's time for justice. Someone's abundance is secure. Someone will have wish fulfillment in life. This is what you all didn't see coming. Someone will be self-sufficient, will maintain their stability and independence if that's what you all were attacking. If you all stole any property, it is going to be returned to who it belongs to. Okay? So, and they're going to get something 10 times better as well. For those of you where they stole from you, you're going to get something 10 times better. Yeah, 10 times better. I'm telling you. Look at that. Judgment is final. Judgment is final. Okay? Dang. Someone like this came like this. Okay? Not that it makes a difference. Dang. Judgment is final. If, some, if someone was having a hard time making a decision, it has been made for them by the universe. It's what I'm hearing. A decision has been made by the universe. So whoever was supposed to make a decision and they were taking forever, whatever this plan was, they were coming up with. This is why it's in the reverse because someone goes back and forth in their mind. I should do this. Don't do it. Do this. That's because people keep mentally playing with them. Someone does not have control of their own mental that's why this nine of swords is above this uh, Sagittarius or whoever this is. Okay. On, on a human level, this is a Sagittarius, possibly a male that is burdened. That's burdened about working with a group of people to destabilize someone. And whatever plan, new plan they were coming up with, the universe has dismantled it. It's like, no, it's not happening. You know how, you know... You sit when a bully will sit and watch you build something. And then as soon as you're done building it, you're about to celebrate. They knock it down. The universe is not a bully. They're just bringing balance into a situation. There's something where a group of people were coming up with a new plan to this, to do, to do something to someone, whether dismantle their life or end them on a life, them or something. The universe is stepping in to dismantle them, dismantle it. So it's not going anywhere. Is that before they even take action, it's already dismantled. 
Okay. So there, whoever these two people are, for some of you that are coming together, is that you're linked spiritually. You two may be even meeting in the spirit realm and things like that, but now it's about to manifest in reality and your ancestors are all over it. They're like, we're done. Like this has become like a full-time job or something trying to get two people together and these rock rats just won't mind your business. So they're like, we're done. We're done. We got other things to do. <laughs> we got other things to, to do. Okay. It says emerging dawn. Okay. It said, trust that every ending is another beginning coming in disguised. Enjoy the journey. Okay. Sometimes that's what we forget to do is to, un we forget to realize that we are on a journey and every little bit of that journey is an experience that's helping us grow, but we forget to find pleasures in like the little things in life because we're so burdened by other things. Like try to just calm down, calm down. It said, let go of blame. Own your own actions and choices to be in power. Take accountability. Okay? And I know for a fact, in these kind of communities where people are coming together to destroy other people's lives, a lot of the times is a lot of people that like accountability for the actions they've already taken. This is like someone takes an action to destroy you behind the scenes and they're lying and things like that. And they don't want anyone to find out that they're lying about you, right? They've been manipulating, so they try to destroy you even more. And then just to find out that they cannot destroy you. And instead of taking accountability, accountability that they were the ones that wronged you, they're going to tell another lie to keep the in initial lie going. It's that you lie, 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 lie. You can only tell so many lies before everything just comes crashing down. Okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in my next reading. Goodbye for now.